So there have been quite a bit of people that have been asking me to make a video on the hub area of Ready or Not. Why you might ask? Well, there's quite a bit of stuff that's on the outskirts of the map that's worth exploring. Yes, believe it or not, there's quite a bit of meat there that the developers are hiding from us that can only be accessed via mod. The one that I'm using for this video is called Console Unlocker Camera Mod. I'll have a link to it in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. The thing that I really like about this mod is that it actually allows me to light up the area because for some reason Ready or Not just has to be ridiculously dark but with this mod I painstakingly went through every nook and cranny that I could find to light up the area and I actually found some interesting things but we'll have to save some of those for later because first what we're gonna do is explore the rest of the hub area and then we'll go and we'll look at the most interesting things that I found so we're gonna start here at the garage area and just go through here so Obviously, we got the bear cat here, two bear cats, and what looks like one of those lifts that I think you put a car on top of so that you could actually work from underneath. I think that's what that is. I don't think I've actually seen too many of them. I think I might have seen one or two in real life, but I'm not too sure. But you got also these cop cars here that look like they've been beat up all to hell. They look like they got this from the freaking junkyard. These don't look very uh, new to me. Maybe this area isn't where they actually store their cop cars. It's probably where they work on their vehicles, maybe? Like a mechanic shop sort of deal? That's pretty much all the freaking thing. Like, it's kind of like an illusion just to make it seem like there'd be a lot more cars here, but... There's actually not that much going on over here. We do have two ways. Oh, by the way, this area was not as lit up as it is right now. Like, I had to go through and, like, light everything up. So, yeah, there's this way that kind of goes up here and just, like, ends and it goes through to the memorial area. So, let's just go ahead and go back and go this way and take a look at this one over here. And then we got another way that kind of leads out towards this way and also goes back into the garage. And that's pretty much it for the garage area. So we're going to go not back towards the hub area. We're going to go actually out to this door on the left here. And obviously uh, there was nothing over here. I just kind of lit it up just to see if there was anything in here. And there's nothing really in here. We're going to go up there eventually, but I just kind of want to explore the first level first. So we're going to go back here. We're going through the locker rooms just to check out this little bathroom area. And yeah, they definitely don't have anything that's actually textured. Again, I lit up this area. It was like really dark before. So you got like the little handles right here. And then you got like a shower area that actually has like all the handles and stuff. So I'm, I'm assuming that eventually we're going to be able to like walk over here to check it out. I guess see a bunch of dudes like taking showers and stuff, which is weird as hell. But you know, Dingus is hanging out. Yeah, that's pretty much it for that little bathroom area. Then we're going to come over here to this little closet looking thing. And yeah, it's just like a tiny room. Nothing too crazy going on in here. There's my guy just standing there. We got this area, but that also leads down into this area too. So we're just going to keep exploring this this one right here just to see if there's anything else. So then we got another doorway that comes right here. And it doesn't really go anywhere. And I checked out everything that was over here. There's nothing too much going on here. So obviously I've looked at this guy and he like links weird. Yeah, like that. See, the eyes just go through the corneas right there. And his seat is kind of like not there all the way. His legs are in his seat. Come over here, you see that this chick is doing like a weird animation. With their arms trying to do like a Domo Arigato, Mr. Rabato. You see like a bunch of guns on the wall. Nothing too out of the ordinary here. I wonder if this is what Navarro meant when he said that there was like a check-in. The explanation I've used, I don't, it's not really official, but uh, Los Buenos police have like a system where you check in your own weapon and register it with the police force. So that's, that's the explanation for that for me. This door doesn't seem to lead anywhere. This guy is also doing the same animation as that other chick on that side over there. The only thing that's kind of like, man, I wish was back in the game was the ladder right here. This ladder is just not there. Also, that's a weird looking shotgun, by the way. I'm not sure if that was in the game prior. I don't think it was. But there's also the drone there that they've shown off in multiple videos. But we've never really used it. I mean, we did use it in the multiplayer once, but it really wasn't that functional. There's also a bunch of stuff that's actually hiding behind this guy right here. Like, if you go back here, there's like a whole freaking area hiding a bunch of stuff. There's a bunch of weights. It's a punching guy over there got a door here which i don't think goes anywhere as far as i know oh there's actually a room back here oh huh, there's a little more room over here this is like a lot of room that's just blocked off for some reason feels like it really shouldn't be what the heck is this interesting it looks like they like really fence this area off all right well that really does it for the more simple stuff let's go ahead and get into getting out of the map a little bit more 
we're gonna go in here which also leads into this area uh, it kind of goes over here and like through a little gate that's kind of like blocked off down to here I'm, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be like that there's a floor here right yeah there's a floor okay so it's supposed to come down here and it doesn't really go anywhere at the moment but I assume it's supposed to be like here or I'm, I don't know, I'm not too sure, but there is like some sort of makeshift trainway that kind of comes this way. It doesn't really go anywhere. There's also supposed to be something right here too, but you know, it doesn't go anywhere either. And then this also goes towards the shooting range, which is actually pretty cool. I was actually able to come in here and look at, you know, the train track to see if there's anything and there really isn't anything. Got this cool little train track right here that's actually not on the track, so th now that I look at it, it's not even textured. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter, because like, it's already like out here, you wouldn't be able to see it until you actually look at it. But, yeah, so the wall is obviously here, it's an illusion, you can't actually see it over there. Another dark wall, it looks like it goes somewhere, but it actually ends here. Uh, nothing too crazy going on over here. We're gonna go up the stairs that we saw over here, and just explore this area. So, we're going up here, and there's a way to go to the right, or to the left. Uh, before we go anywhere, there is a couple of places that I actually did light up, so back here... Looks like there's supposed to be some sort of yeah, little room right here, but it doesn't actually go anywhere. And then going to the right, there's a room that's just completely empty. Like you can't actually walk through here because there's no door, but we're going to come over here through these doors, make a right. There's obviously nothing there. Then go through this right here, just like another room. And then coming through here, we actually get to see a bit of a jail cell. So I'm assuming that this is supposed to be like where all the inmates are going to be. Gates on the wall right here. I'm assuming it's going to be pretty big over here. And then you have like a bunch of windows where uh, there's going to be a bunch of like checkpoints and stuff, I assume. Oh, actually, there's an interrogation room in here. Oh, I did not see this. Looks like an interrogation room. Okay, cool. Uh, and then over here, I'm assuming there's another one too. Yep, you got another interrogation room. So two interrogation rooms on the left here and another thing over here, which is probably going to be where they have like a bunch of guards stationed, I assume. That's pretty cool. So we're going to go back outwards, back towards the escalator, and then make a left. And what we got here is the cafeteria area, which actually kind of looks like any cafeteria that I've seen in any government building before. And then we got like the backstages here. Uh, this looks like some sort of box, a box mesh. Yeah, it's actually a pretty cool looking cafeteria, not gonna lie. I just want to say here that the developers have actually said that after every mission, you have the option to just like walk around the hub area. And apparently the hub area is going to be pretty big and you can listen in on conversations or talk to people just to try to get their backstories and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, continuing on here to the left, there's a window right here that doesn't seem to have anything as far as I can tell. Nope, doesn't have anything. So we're going to keep going to the left. And then this goes back down into uh, this area here. So we're not going to go anywhere with that. Keep going to the left here. There's another little room that kind of doesn't really go anywhere. It's just like a little tiny box. I wonder what this is going to be used for. I actually just noticed that some of these walls are textured. This looks like marble? Kind of, yeah. I could definitely see this in like a government building. I wonder if these guys actually went to one. But on the right here is another room that you can't access, but you can see. Moving on from that, we also got a doorway that's supposed to lead somewhere. Not too sure where though. Keep going over to the left, some sort of elevator, but it goes downwards towards this area and then downwards towards uh, this area here. Elevator, elevator, elevator. Okay, moving on from that, we got another doorway that doesn't go anywhere. And we got a room next to this that's also empty, but pretty big. I just imagine there's going to be like a bunch of people that are working behind these walls and we're just not going to be able to actually access most of it. And then we have the bathrooms here. This is the woman's side. Dude, what are you doing in the woman's bathroom? Uh. Nothing. Then we got the men's bathroom that's over here. Again, this is all lit up by me because everything was ridiculously dark. You got your urinals and your bathrooms and yeah. This is just like a tiny little room. I have no idea what this would actually be used for. Maybe like a conference room? I don't know. But this over here on the left is definitely a briefing room. Like a briefing room if I had ever seen one. Light it up just a little bit here. I think this is the same character model in different places. Yeah, he looks the same. 
Yeah. Sure. But this is actually kind of cool here. You can imagine this dude's giving like a briefing and you're listening in while sitting over here. That's pretty cool actually. Definitely like this. But yeah, that's pretty much uh, it right there for the outskirts. Let's go ahead and go inside here. There's the elevator again, where we came in from. So this right here, I've heard cops talking before, and they always say that the job is just 90% paperwork. And this is where I imagine all the freaking papers would be. Are right, people just writing on documents and putting them in filing cabinets? This is definitely like an area where I would see all this stuff happening right here. And then they also have like this one little box here where I'm assuming like the boss is supposed to be, which is pretty neat. I feel like this is definitely a place where you're gonna get called up to the office and be like, man, I can't believe you just killed someone. That'd be funny. But yeah, let's go to the best part about this is that it's actually a converted uh, railway station it looks like I mean it could be a government building but from everything that I've seen there's definitely a railway station down there Wow this is a gigantic building that I had to light up because it was ridiculously dark I think all the lights are tanking my FPS but it's probably worth it you have like a sort of staircase that goes up here into the right right here this doesn't actually go anywhere you have like a bunch of places that you could walk around the spot looks like use that uh, weird looking angel thing that I've seen in that one farm mission but they just got it and they put it right here on a big statue and this is where I assume the American flag would be while you're coming in from like this area which doesn't actually go anywhere but yeah so see you can actually see the train tracks underneath the building so this was definitely a converted train station there's also like this thing where you have to check in your gear and stuff so i imagine people are going to come up and be like trying to uh do stuff put their luggage on the scale thing here and have it go through and check their badge at the door make sure that they don't have any metal on this stuff that's pretty cool and yeah that's pretty freaking epic this is a gigantic building that i would really like to explore when it's finished uh there is a chance that they could scrap this entirely because i've definitely seen the developers scrap a lot of good maps before actually it was confirmed in a stream that they are going to completely redo the hq so this probably won't even matter so this video is more of an archive than it is what's to come but anyways it's definitely possible that this building might not exist but i mean just looking at it it looks really cool i hope that they keep this type of design when the final game comes out so we basically explored the whole top part i don't remember if there's anything else i don't think there is at least not that i could remember definitely look around and cut out anything that i don't see yeah and that seems to be about it so some of the weird things that i found i actually come from behind this target the first thing that i want to show like this entire area was ridiculously dark okay so i wanted to come over here to show you the first thing this was dark also I know it's a gigantic hole that's right here that doesn't look like it should be here. It makes me kind of wonder, like, is somebody breaking into this? Because if so, like, that's so weird. Like, why would this be here? This is supposed to be where, like, elevators are. They obviously lead up into that floor that's at the very top here. And then there's this one that goes to this floor. And then the third floor that comes down here goes through here. But it looks like they have this blocked off, so you're not supposed to be using this, right? So why is there a hole here? Is it just because somebody's trying to break in? Like, that's the only thing that really comes to mind. And there's like a tiny hallway that doesn't go anywhere. Alright, so the second weirdest thing that I saw, it's back this way, you know. In the same area, but back this way. And it's just like a giant freaking hole that goes straight down. And it just, like, it doesn't connect to anything that's over here. So going down... It's just a platform that overlooks like a freaking like little spot over there. So this is weird. Like what is this supposed to be? Like if I go to this platform over here and look back, it's obviously looking over something. And there's an invisible wall right here, it looks like. Yeah, so that's an invisible wall, it looks like. This is weird. This just feels so out of place in like the whole grand scheme of things. This is like way underground. See, because look at this big freaking thing. That's just like a drop. A complete drop that goes down right there. And it, it's not even connected to anything either. Like, again, it's in the area where it's kind of like blocked off by this cement wall here. So nobody's going through here. So why would this be here? 
I think that's a little odd, but you know. All right, well, the next weird thing comes from something that we've actually seen before. This right here. The weirdest thing is that right there. The dark, cold truth. The mannequins are made out of people. Now it all makes sense. Why the mannequins are in weird spots and facing opposite directions. It's because one of the officers in the office is obviously fucking crazy. Chopping off their limbs and putting paper mache on the goddamn corpses and sticking them on sticks. It's no wonder why we don't see any inmates. Because they're all dead. Hiding in plain sight for the greater good. Oh, the humanity. But yeah, that pretty much does it for this video, so I'm just going to end it here. Thank you all for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.